Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. So today is actually Friday. I know I did not post today, which is supposed to be my posting day, but honestly, we haven't been doing shit. We haven't been doing anything, so there was nothing to post. Um, so hopefully this weekend we do, you know, something other than playing Call of Duty and watching Netflix and just chilling. So yeah, there's still not much to do, but hopefully I come up with some type of idea so anyways today i'm gonna be making burgers i'm not doing it from scratch i'm not making like the meat patties from scratch i just bought like store-bought which i'm gonna show you guys right now so we went to walmart today and we picked out these burgers so this is the one that brian wants to eat today um it's what's the brand the brand is jensen so it looks really really like juicy on the picture so i'm hoping it's like really thick as well when i cook it so this is just regular angus beef and then for me what i want to try um i think i got this from randall's this is the beef and portobello mushroom blended patty so when i seen the mushroom in it i was like yes so it's 80 percent beef and 20 percent portobello mushroom so Hopefully this is really good and hopefully it's as thick, as thick as the picture, okay? So, I'm about to make probably one for me, maybe one in one. I don't think we're that hungry right now. Um, so, it's just a quick meal and I have, I'm having a glass of wine. I think Ziffendale is like my new fave. I think it's because the percentage is high. So, yeah. But even though the percentage is high, it's really, like, really, really smooth. And I got these new wine glasses. I love them better than any other wine glass that I have because it's super, like, wide. And, like, just the design of it, it's so pretty. So, yeah. Burger time. So this burger meat is actually pretty thick, so I do like that, um, which means that it's going to be nice and juicy, I hope. So, yay! And these are super quick to make, so if we are like hungry, more hungry, or Brian's more hungry, I can just chef him up some. This is how the portobello mushroom one looks. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm going to make one of these and two of those, just in case I'm really not feeling this, so yeah it's not maybe it's the same amount of thickness no the other one's a little bit thicker so i'm gonna make one of these and then two of these know what i got know what i want boy don't get me wrong sure we're having fun but it don't mean that i'm in love i like you a lot Gotta step up I'm through Trying to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest this burger right here i'm gonna have this if i really feel for it later but i don't think i will probably have it tomorrow if anything or brian will want it but this is the mushroom and beef burger and it looks delicious like how yummy 
does that look? So good. Alrighty, y'all. So this is Brian's meal. You know, he's pretty basic. No greenery. Um, Tony Satchery's on his fries. Ketchup and mustard. And then I have my meal, which you guys already seen. I just added a little bit of fries. I might have a salad with it. If not, I might eat that next burger. Woo Anyways, dinner time. Super easy and quick meal. Literally took probably 25 minutes. That's it. So instead of going to a fast food restaurant, we have the fast food restaurant brought to us. You feel me? Okay. So let's go eat. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to do a quick taste test with you guys. This is the mushroom and beef burger. So it, oh. The liquid so this is what it looks like y'all this is so good it literally tastes like a fast food restaurant burger but even better so good mmm <laughs> This is delicious, oh my gosh. I give, I give a 10 out of 10 for this burger. I might have the other burger over there. That's how delicious it is. <laughs> mm. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm currently making a little bit of breakfast, nothing too big. Um, Brian already gave him cereal. So now he wanted bacon, he wanted like eight bacons, he was very specific, and then I'm making him a smoothie. Y'all know he doesn't eat his greens or his fruits unless they're blended up, so I'm trying to do that for him like every day if I can, or every other day or so, so. Made him a little smoothie, we didn't have any more kale, so this is strawberry, blueberries, and mango. And then I put some hemp seeds in there, so hopefully he likes that. Well he does, he always likes it when it's blended, but if it's like the full, the whole fruit or the whole vegetable, he just he just won't eat it so I cut him up some mango and I'm eating the mango right now so I'm gonna try to vlog him tasting this because I don't think you guys ever see me eat like a vegetable on camera which is sad but whatever so I got some other cute things for my balcony which you guys will still see in upcoming video so I got some succulents which are gonna go into these like planter pots that I got like they're hanging one so you guys will see that eventually so I got um whatever these are called I don't know I just hope they fit into the little um plant potter thing that I got so these cute ones right here I got this um woven basket thing which is so cute because I want to add some like brown and like texture to the balcony as well so I think I'm gonna change this I want like a bigger plant I just want to see how it's gonna look I want like a a fiddle leaf plant or something something taller I need to put in here so I just want to see how it looks I really like it it's really cute I got this from Amazon I got this plant from Home Depot the other day and I just put it into this white plant planter pot right here and then I got this so it's just like this woven um candle holder i guess lantern type thing and it comes with like th this um rope handle so it's kind of like farmhouse rustic and it has the gold accents on it so it's really cute and then at nighttime it looks really nice with the candles in here these are fake candles by the way they just flicker put batteries in them so this is all supposed to go on the balcony as well however so one of the main pieces to my balcony the Amazon seller did not send me the screws for the piece, which is like the couch bench type thing. So I cannot even put it together. Message them. They said they would send something out. But I feel like they didn't really do that because they're like, if it doesn't come to you in eight business days, please message, message us back. So I messaged them yesterday and I'm like, it didn't get sent out to me. Like it still says waiting to be received from shipper, right? So I said you guys didn't send it to me um it didn't send out they're like oh sorry it probably got lost i'm like okay so they're like how about we give you a 50 dollar refund and you can get the stuff at your local hardware store and i'm just like i paid almost you know 200 dollars for this i should be getting a full refund or you guys need to send me the appropriate pieces so i can put this thing together why do i have to go out of my way to go get these pieces for the heart like 
doesn't make no sense. So waiting on the reply back, hopefully they give me a full refund um, or they send the pieces my way because it's hella annoying. I should have done been put this together. So I'm just waiting on that and then I can do the final reveal for you guys and I'll be done because I pretty much got everything else I needed. It's just the plant that I'm waiting for as well, but I can literally put uh, any plant I have in this house there just for the video's sake. So anyways, that is that. I just want to update you guys about the balcony reno or makeover. Here's your crispy bacon with, uh, what is that thing that you like? Seasoning? And here's your smoothie. Tell me what's in it. Is it cold? It's not cold. Yes, it is. Bananas. When do we have bananas in the house? <laughs> Need a little bit more ice. No. You waited too long. Tell me what fruit is in it. Strawberries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Strawberries, blueberries, mango, and hemp seeds. I didn't have no more kale. It was bad. It went bad. Wow, baby, I'm so proud of you. The first time the viewers are being able to see you eat some vegetables or fruit. If you put that online, it's very disrespectful. How? It's true. I'm so proud of you, baby. <laughs> Why are you drinking it so fast? Done? Oh, gone. Wow. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to end the vlog here, so I will see you guys all in the next one. I know, it was a short, weird vlog, but oh well. Deuces.